entitled the same name as the book, Explore Fortunes and Love Letters, A Window on New Netherland. Um, tonight's program is part of the ongoing series of public programs undertaken in conjunction with the museum's exhibition, Amsterdam, The Worlds of Henry Hudson, which will be on view until September 27th. Now, um, I got an email right before I came down here. Marvel of an exhibition. And I do, I do want everyone in this room to, to see it. How many of you see, have seen it so far? Oh, isn't that wonderful? Oh, I mean, that is, that, I mean, that looked like that was 85% of the room. Good. Now, so yeah, now you just have to come back. It's, uh, and so I don't really need to tell you, but it, it does illuminate the global significance of Hudson's voyage and highlights the Dutch role in creating the very character of our tolerance and perpetual transformation. And it does also demonstrate how the Dutch origins of Marcy um, uh, have left an imprint our character that endures today and is going to endure tomorrow. Uh, the companion publication is Explorers, Fortune, and Love Letters, as you heard, A Window on New Netherland, and it presents the story of the diverse and enterprising colony of New Netherland. It consists of 12 essays covering a wide range of subjects, um, from Henry Hudson methods to the love letters of Killian von Rensselaer, and together um, these essays are a compilation brimming with fresh and varied perspectives, opening many new windows on the colony of New Netherlands. In tonight's uh, discussion uh, and presentation, we are very lucky to have four of the contributing this evening, and um, I'm going to introduce them in a minute. Um, um, I also want a book is um, published by the Mount Ida Press and um, Diana Will, uh, its CEO, is here with us this evening. And Diana, will you stand up so we can give you a big round of applause for the book and for the night? Uh, and um, I Additionally grateful to the New Netherlands Institute, uh, which helped to fund both the exhibition and the book. And Yippe Heemstra is here with us this evening. Yippe, will you stand up? <laughs> and first in this list should have been the man in the room, who is um, our Council General, who slipped to the back of the room, Haya Sheltima, absolutely uh, <laughs> pious and the helped us with two shows upstairs, um, and is very supportive of the third. But Haya uh, <laughs> uh, helped us with um, funding and lots of door opening for Amsterdam and also for Dutch scene. And I do recommend that everybody go up and see that last part of the trio of celebrate uh, the uh, of New York 400 years ago by Henry Hudson. Uh, so shows um, Manhattan, Manhattan, and uh, again, a First. So I do recommend these other shows. Um, um, now, I want to tell you about some of our upcoming programs related to the exhibition. Author Elizabeth Bradley will be here to discuss her book, Knickerbocker, The Myth Behind New York, and specifically New York created by Washington Irving through the 
Knickerbocker. And then on August 18th, for the, Hulton, the Hudson Fulton celebration of 19, um, a program for which author Catherine Egan Johnson will be here to explore the 300th voyage, which I am told remains today uh, the, the city's largest public celebration. Uh, I got that information from Kathy Benson. So it's good information, right, Kathy? It's good information.